Pixelmator Pro 3.6 Archipelago with all new masking now has the ability to combine masks through masking operators that allows for more precision and efficiency than before. Unfortunately though, beginners might be confused by this important concept. As such, I thought it might be useful for some to go through the basics of operators, how each operator works, and demonstrate with a real example. So let's get right into it. Before we go through the operators in detail, let's run through some basic concepts. First, what are the benefits of combining masks in the first place? The first benefit of combining masks is simplicity. You can break down a masking problem into smaller components, avoiding the need to work with a single complicated mask. Second, each component can be edited independent of each other. And third, it gives more flexibility when combining masks from various masking tools. For example, you have the ability to combine a mask created by a select subject, color select, or a brush, etc. Next, what are masking operators? Masking operators are Boolean operators used to combine masks. In Pixelmator Pro, there are three such operators, add, subtract, and intersect. So that is an overview of the basic concepts. Let's dive into each operator. The first operator is the add operator. The add operator adds pixel values from multiple masks. It has the effect of expanding or brightening a mask. Let's demonstrate by editing this image. I'll try to brighten the subject to make it stand out. To do that, I'll first add an adjustment layer. Next, I'll create a mask for the subject. I'll increase the brightness. The adjustment looks good. However, let's say I'd like to include the underexposed tree in the adjustment. We could, of course, modify the current mask to include the tree. For simple problems as this one, that would be perfectly fine. However, when masking becomes more complex, refining a mask by adding a secondary mask might be a better solution. Let's do that. With the image layer selected, I'll use the quick selection tool to select the tree. With the adjustment layer selected, I'll add a mask. As you can see, two masks now appear under the adjustment layer which is a new feature of Pixelmator Pro 6.3. Notice now, when performing the adjustment, both objects are affected. Why is this so? The reason is, when two or more masks are added into a layer, masks are combined by default via an add operation. Pixel values from the subject mask are added to the pixel values from the tree to produce a new mask. While it would be nice to see the resultant mask visually, unfortunately, Pixelmator Pro, as of this version, has no mechanism to view the calculated mask, as in Photomator or Affinity Photo. Hopefully, Pixelmator adds this functionality in the near future. However, just to give an idea of how it looks, I've created here what the resulting mask would look like if Pixelmator Pro could show it. It is what you would expect, Zeros represented by black in the mask added to another zero produces a zero. One represented by white on the mask added to zero produces one on the mask. And one added to one produces a one in the resultant mask. Notice as well that in an add operation, the order does not matter. As you can see here, the same mask is produced even if you switch the order of the layers. So that was the add operator. Let's move on to the subtract operator. For this image, I'll lower the brightness of the sky with a gradient. First, I'll create a new adjustment layer. I'll add a mask. Next, I'll drag a gradient onto the mask. There, the mask is created. Let's test it out by decreasing the brightness. As you can see, the mask is working fine. The adjustment is primarily affecting just the sky. However, the tree is also being affected by the darkening operation. 
Let's refine the mask by adding another mask. With the image layer selected, I'll select the tree. With the adjustment layer selected, I'll add a mask. Once again, we have two masks under the adjustment layer. Unfortunately, as we perform the adjustment, it is clear that the mask is incorrect. The reason is, by default, the operator is still set to add, which expands the mask. What we want to do is the opposite, reduce the mask via subtraction. Let's fix this by changing the operator from add to subtract. As you can see, that does the job. So how does the subtract operator work? In a subtract operation, the pixel values of the top mask are subtracted from the pixel values of the bottom mask. This has the effect of reducing or darkening the mask. Here is a visual of the resulting mask from the subtract operation. As expected, subtracting zero, represented by black on the mask, from zero results in zero. Subtracting a zero from one results in one. Subtracting one from one results in zero. Finally, subtracting one from zero results in zero. There are no negative numbers in Boolean operations. Notice as well that unlike in an add operation, the order in a subtract operation matters, as you can see here. The results do change when the layer's order is switched. So that was the subtract operator. Let's move on to the final operator, intersect. In intersect, the mask values will only be shown if both values from each mask are the same. To understand this, let's change the operator to intersect. As you can see, only the portion where both masks are white is affected by the adjustment. Here is a visual of the resultant mask from the intersect operation. So there you have it, the three mask operators of the latest Pixelmator Pro 3.6 Archipelago. As you can see, while it might take a while to get used to, it certainly is worth the effort as it greatly simplifies complex masking problems. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what you think of Pixelmator's new masking implementation. Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.